Alrighty then. Here we go. Cool. Alright. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Oz the Controller again. Uh, like I said, I was going to be doing another video right after the last one that I did. Here I am doing another video on Grand Theft Auto 5 online again. And pretty much the other vehicle that we were going to do is the podium vehicle that's on the podium right now. Uh, today is October 15th, 2001. And the Debussy, um, it's called the Debussy Spectre. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm guessing it's a sports vehicle, but I'm not completely sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but this is week 117. Uh, that's when this vehicle is out right now. So... Don't hit the building. That was close. But yeah, so this is week 117. The Debussy Spectre. And this is the vehicle that is currently on the podium right now, like I said. Friday. And I'm going to show you this vehicle. Uh, we're going to take it to Los Santos Customs. And then I'm going to take it to Arena Wars. That way I can show you the different upgrades that we have possible with this vehicle. Okay. Make sure to press that like button if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. As you can see already, this vehicle, uh, even at its stock version, is pretty fast and it has pretty good handling. Oh, I always want to like go straight to the Arena Wars for some reason. I <laughs> just like normally, naturally go there. Uh, but yeah, let's take it to Los Santos Customs first. We're going to do all the upgrades that we can there. And then uh, we pretty much take it to the Arena Wars for just one little upgrade that we can't do anywhere else. Uh, in order to change the headlight colors. So... <clears throat> Uh, apparently it says this vehicle can also be modified at Benny's uh, auto shop so I didn't even know you can take this vehicle to Benny's this is another vehicle that can be upgraded at Benny's auto shop I don't I don't actually know how it would look when you change it at Benny's huh I kind of want to see how it would look but at the same time, sometimes when you change it at Benny's, it's not necessarily like the best. Um, hmm. I'm kind of curious though. Uh, let's see. Just for the fact that I kind of want to show you how this vehicle will look at Benny's auto shop. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take it to Benny's in the end that way you guys can see the difference between you know just a regular uh los santos customs and how how it would look at benny's so it might be a little bit different i had to go the long way didn't i let's see i kind of want to do let's see if we could do like a shortcut through here yeah we could do some kind of like shortcut here as you break through this fence right here 
There we go. And we're at Benny's. Nice. So, Tell me what you whatever want. vehicle you have, if you take it to Benny's Auto Shop, and the gate doesn't want to open that's because you can't upgrade the vehicle at benny's so it says upgrade benny's original motor works so it says specter custom that's going to be an extra two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars that you have to pay in order to get the specter custom but I kind of want to get it just so we can see the difference in the body and see how it looks. So I'm going to get that go. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get that for you so you can see the difference. fenders on the side doesn't look like much has changed but it does change the shape of the body that's for sure so let's go ahead and fix it up the rest of the way uh, armor upgrade all the way race brakes of course uh, we have different options here in the front bumper okay I'm going to go with the uh, rank 73, $16,300 in order for the low secondary splitter. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Uh, even though I kind of like this one, it's a little bit out more. Kind of looks nice right there. Uh, but let's go ahead and go with the last one on the list. <laughs> And then uh, the rear bumper, we have different choices here when it comes to the rear bumper. Uh, we're going to go with the carbon flick diffuser. Okay. And that's $15,500. You have to be rank 68. Okay. And then uh, chassis. Uh, we have different options here when it comes to the fenders. Okay. Uh, smooth secondary arches, bolt on black arches, smooth black arches, okay. We have a smooth carbon arches, that's pretty nice. I think we're going to go with the smooth carbon arches, because that probably looks the best and it's probably going to make it the fastest. Uh, smooth carbon arches for 3,900 and you have to be rank 70 in order to unlock that and then uh, the engine engine upgraded level 4 all the way of course we have different options in the exhaust okay uh, that's pretty cool so they have exhaust that can go on the side of the vehicle instead of the back of the vehicle and then we have chrome side exhausts and we have carbon side exhausts and then in the back we have dual oval exhausts okay so i think we'll go with uh yeah, I'm going to go with the carbon side exhaust because that looks pretty nice. Nice. And if you uh, if you press the gas, you can see the flames come out the side of the vehicle. That looks pretty cool. So we're going to go with the carbon side exhaust on this one. Explosives. Like I said, if you like your vehicle, you don't want to choose explosives. Horn. Uh, we're gonna go with the standard horn, air horn 25,000, air horn number three. Okay, hopefully we have enough money in order to upgrade this vehicle because I had like two million something, I think two million two hundred thousand, 
and I already upgraded the last vehicle so hopefully me upgrading this vehicle doesn't get to the point where I don't have enough money to finish upgrading it so we'll see uh, in in we're gonna go with the interior now looks like we have different options when it comes to the also uh, since it's a uh, Benny upgraded vehicle we have street interior we have semi stripped interior we have the flock dash and stripped okay and then we have carbon dash and stripped interior okay so I think we're going to go with the last one, $34,770 carbon dash and stripped interior. Okay. And then dials. We have different options here when it comes to the dials on the vehicle. Okay. We're probably going to go with the last one, which is the MK3 display and dash gauges. Okay, we have different options here to choose from though. I like this one because it kind of like comes out of the top of the vehicle. Uh, but besides that, I think we're going to go with the MK3 one, uh, which is $23,650. All right. And then the doors, we have different options. Oh, actually, we only have one option for the doors which is the carbon door cards which is thirteen thousand six hundred dollars so we're gonna go with the carbon doors that way we can make it a little bit faster okay uh, seats we have different options here when it comes to the seats okay and of course we have to go with the last one which are the carbon race seats so yeah that looks that looks nice man that's gonna make it faster so eighteen thousand one hundred and seventy dollars for the carbon race seats okay and then we have uh, steering wheels uh, Brandon Yates said hi what's up shout out to uh, Brandon Yates So yeah, thanks for joining the stream, Brandon Yates. I appreciate it. Uh, steering wheel, we have different options here when it comes to the steering wheels. Okay. Uh, we have to, of course, we usually go with the last one on the list. Uh, Rally Professional, $22,950 for the Rally Professional. Okay, and then we have the different color in the lights I don't know what color I'm gonna go with yet so I'm gonna gonna hold off on that right now if anything uh, Brandon Yates said I like your car thanks man I appreciate it alright so we're not gonna choose the light color just yet uh, for the roll cage uh, we're going to have to go with, uh, let's see, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of a difference here when it comes to the roll cage. This roll cage actually comes all the way down. If you notice, it comes like down here. You could even see it on the, like where you put your feet in the vehicle. Uh, oh, the other one actually comes down too. I just noticed that. But it has it has like more added to it. So we have full row cage, and then we have the padded full row cage. So I think we're gonna have to go with that. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, and you have to be rank seventy five in order to get that one. So I'm gonna go with that padded full row cage. And then let's go to the lights. Uh, we're not going to get those xenon headlights. 
uh is that your playstation network name yeah yeah it is Yeah, so the name that I have on here, Oz the Controller, uh, what my uh, my YouTube channel is called, that's actually my PlayStation Network name. So feel free to go ahead and add me as a friend on PlayStation Network, and maybe at some other point we'll be able to play together online. So yeah, definitely, man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the front, back, and sides. $30,000 for the neon lights uh, neon color I'm not gonna choose the neon color just yet so I'm not sure what color I'm gonna choose uh, livery we have different options here when it comes to the livery we have classic uh, white stripe we have black fills which I can't really see anything there oh there we go I got your friend request I'm gonna go ahead and add you right now real quick I apologize if it goes to blue screen for everyone right now uh, but yeah I'm gonna add this dude real quick all right there we go So yeah, I just added you back as a friend, uh, Brendan Yates. You're welcome, no problem. Uh, so yeah, we have white fills. Oh, so I guess black fills, it changes the roof to white. Or if you want, you could change the roof to all black. And then we have classic yellow stripe. So we have the yellow stripe coming down the side. All right, and then we have Hayes Livery. So Hayes Livery is right there. And then we have Le Chen. Le Chen Wake Up de Paris. <laughs> so yeah, we have, that's the Le Chen Liberty li uh, Livery. And then we have Corker's Baseball Livery. That's the Corker's Baseball Livery, which it has a 45 on the top. And then it has eye fruit on the side. Okay. And then we have Brawls Livery. Okay. Brawls Liberty City Livery. And we also have uh, Fat Chips. On the back it says Fat Chips. And then on the top of the roof it says The Nation Loves Getting Fat. <laughs> That's cool. The Nation Loves Getting Fat. That's a good one. And then on the side it says uh, Globe Oil, okay. And then we also have Auto Exotic Livery, okay. Auto Exotic Livery. That one looks pretty cool, actually. That makes the the vehicle look really nice. Kind of want to choose that one, just because that's different. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a funny phrase right there. The nation loves getting fat. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the auto exotic livery. 39,600. Okay. So we're going to go with that one. And then uh, let's go ahead and see uh, the plates. We're going to go with yellow and black. And then I'm going to go with Grow Forever. All right. And then I don't think, I don't believe you can do the glitch for the mat per lesson uh, inside of Benny's Auto Shop. Just so you know. Uh, it's pouring down rain in my city. Damn, that sucks, man. So he says it's raining in his city right now. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. 
that sucks because you can't really like go out and you know have fun and do something outside uh and then if you want to like go for food you know you got to worry about you know driving in the rain uh but yeah man that sucks uh skirts we're gonna go ahead and change the skirts on this vehicle skirt uh yeah so we're gonna go with the wide carbon skirts that way it could be a little bit faster uh, when it comes to that upgrade uh, that is 18,300 and you have to be rank 69 in order to get that That's okay uh, let me go ahead and let this guy know uh, if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe please All right there we go so i just wanted to let you know uh brendan yates uh if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe please and make sure to press that like button uh let's see so we have a spoiler we could choose the different spoilers here we have a sport sports spoiler race spoiler low spoiler primary draft spoiler Classic spoiler, rear mounted spoiler, huge primary spoiler, okay, low carbon spoiler, sports carbon spoiler, race carbon spoiler, and carbon drift spoiler, a huge carbon spoiler, rear mounted carbon spoiler, light rear mounted carbon spoiler. Oh no, wait, that one's not carbon, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, drag spoiler, carbon spoiler, GT spoiler. A lot of spoilers to choose from when it comes to that. Uh, I've been subscribed since day one. I uh, just never watched the streams. I watch the old s s streams and stuff, you know. Uh, new Cavalier in... Granada, Mississippi. Oh, okay, for sure. Uh, yeah, sounds good, man. I appreciate uh, you being subscribed. I, I apologize for not knowing uh, who's subscribed or who's not. I just always make sure to say that to everyone, whoever joins my stream. Uh, I wish I could know, you know, who's actually subscribed or not, but it's difficult uh, to actually pinpoint and know you know who is or not uh, so that's why I always say that just to make sure um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one looks pretty cool I like that one rear mounted carbon spoiler so we're definitely gonna go with that one that one looks like the biggest one and yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we're going to do the rear mounted carbon spoiler for $20,000. All, All right. Up. I like the way that looks. Uh, and then suspension, suspension all the way down, competition suspension for $4,400. And you have to be ranked 71. All right. Uh, yeah, for sure. Thank, thanks man I appreciate it uh, so yeah race transmission forty thousand dollars for this race transmission it says uh, winning 36 races or you had to be ranked 70 all right and then turbo fifty thousand dollars for the turbo tuning you have to win 20 races or you have to be rank 100 in order for that upgrade Okay, and then we're gonna go with the wheels. Uh, ooh, nice. I always like the the fact that you can come to Benny's Auto Shop and fix up your vehicle here is so much better for the fact that you can pick uh, Benny's original. Uh, the rims that he has are so nice, man. Uh, Dude, I wish you could pick, like, Benny's original rims for, like, all of your vehicles. Because these are, like, the best ones here. 
Oh, man. These are so cool. Uh, we also have Benny's... We have Benny's Bespoke. Okay. So those are another type of rims that you could choose from. These are cool because these are like... If you want to choose all golden rims, that's pretty nice. I like the gold rims. They're pretty cool. Uh, for the fact that, you know, not, not all vehicles are able to have, you know, not only are they original, but they also are all, you know, golden, which is, oh man, that's... It's beautiful on any vehicle it's just it makes that so much better uh but yeah i think i might go with these look nice these look really nice i don't know it's it's really hard to choose there's like when it comes to benny's originals oh these are so cool man like every single one of these are just Trying to pick these uh, Benny's originals. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm torn between a lot of them, but I'm gonna go with uh, in the end. Oh man, I'm torn between like the psychedelic, uh, the lick 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 looks nice. <laughs> That's funny. The funny name. Uh, biohazard oh my god I actually want to get biohazard tattooed on me somewhere because I like that sign man that biohazard sign is so dope uh, let's go with biohazard uh, for 47,350 I'm gonna go with the biohazard one uh, yeah definitely man hell yeah baby Yoda is just so dope I can't get enough of baby Yoda I'm I'm honestly so obsessed. I don't know how many. Um, see, I have six, seven. I think I have seven baby Yodas in total. Because I have two big baby Yodas. I have two medium sized baby Yodas. And then I have two small baby Yodas. And then I have one baby Yoda that's from the one that's right here behind the controller is like from uh gamestop so i have them from like different stores and i just i can't get enough of baby yoda i just i keep on buying more and more stuff like as you can see uh this is a new addition i have a baby yoda backpack also so i just anything baby yoda i usually try to get i just can't get enough i just like i'm like filling my whole game room with just like all kinds of baby Yoda stuff. <laughs> I, I'm like so obsessed, man. I can't I can't stop. But yeah. <laughs> so um let's go ahead and uh now that we've chosen the library. Oh I just noticed dude that looks nice. <laughs> I just noticed that on the mirrors it has the American flag in black. That looks so cool. It has like one side is the American flag and then the other side is like the American flag backwards. Like in black on the on the side mirrors. That looks so dope. I just barely noticed that. But anyways, uh, now that we've chosen the color, uh, we could pretty much choose the color now that we've chosen uh, the livery. That way we can match the same color. Uh, I don't really want to go with pink. But I mean, pink would match the livery perfect. Um, we could go with, um, let's see. Maybe if we choose like a type of blue, we could probably go with the other. Yeah, if we go with fluorescent blue, then we could choose the other color that's in the livery. Which I think I kind of want to go with that instead of pink. 
I don't know. Does pink look better? Let's see. Uh, pink does look nice. I like I like how it it matches the vehicle nice because there's more pink than there is uh, fluorescent blue in the livery. I think we're just gonna have to go with pink. I don't want to have to go with pink, but we're gonna have to do that. Uh, so it says this item is unlocked after performing 50 turbo starts. Oh, turbo starts are difficult, man. Yeah, so you're gonna have to uh, find out how to do that on your own, because that that's a difficult thing to do. Uh, but in order to choose the the hot pink, it's 2,500 uh, for the rim color, and then tire design. Uh, we could choose what tire design we're gonna go with. I kind of want to go with red, cause the red kind of like matches. Um, but I think we'll do. No, you know what? We'll do blue. That way. Because the, there is blue in the livery. So that way it'll have like pink on the inside and blue on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, bulletproof tires, tires. of course, 25,000. <laughs> and then uh, tire smoke. We're going to do a pink tire smoke. Oh, well, I guess we have to. Uh, we'll do pink tire smoke and then uh, windows all the way limo tinted 5,000 for that and you have to be level 49 All right, and then we're gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to the lights and we're gonna choose the neon light as hot pink of course We're, we're just gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. I don't want to go with hot pink, but it just it must be done <laughs> and then uh, interior we're gonna go back to interior and we're gonna change uh, was it the dash no oh no it was um, the light color so the light color we're gonna change to let's see yeah we're gonna go with hot pink for the light color Okay, $6,250 for that. And then back out. And we're going to back out of Benny's original motor works. All right. And there we go. That that looks nice so far. Is pretty much we're going to change the headlight color at the We're going to go to Arena Wars. Oh, it's funny how you said that it was raining in your city right now, and it's actually, it's raining on Grand Theft Auto V online right now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What a coincidence, right? <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and go into the Arena Wars workshop. And we're going to change, all we need to do is change the headlights now which will be pretty quick I like the way that the vehicle is it looks nice man I'm not gonna lie the way that I've upgraded it with that library man the, oh that library looks nice I like that color and all the the different designs on it I like how it has an eyeball on the front of the vehicle that's pretty cool uh, so let's go ahead and go to uh, the lights and then we're going to change the headlights to hot pink. Okay. And then let's go ahead and back out. Oh, I almost forgot. I wonder I wonder if I could still do the matte pearlescent glitch. So let's go take it to Los Santos Customs real quick. That way we can see if we could do that. This vehicle is pretty fast. Uh, like I said... I was thinking that it was gonna be a sports vehicle and it actually is a sports vehicle if you see this is the Debussy Spectre Custom all right this is the Debussy Spectre Custom and it's a sports vehicle 
as you can see in the bottom right. So yeah. I was thinking that it was a sports vehicle. Cause I was thinking like it's not gonna it's not gonna be a supercar. So it's gotta be like a sports vehicle. I'm not sure what the other vehicle before this was, uh, which was there, week like 116. Uh, October 7th, that was the, um, the Volcar, Volcar Nebula Turbo, there we go, so the Volcar Nebula Turbo, I'm not sure what kind of vehicle that was, I was thinking that it was like, uh, maybe a, a classic vehicle, might, might have been a, a sports classic vehicle, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, I'll probably have to change the title eventually on that. Uh, but let's go ahead and change the respray on this. Uh, we're going to put the crew emblem on the side. Right there. Grove Street Players crew emblem. And then let's see. Now we're going to go to Matt. Oh, so it looks like we can change. Nice. We could make it a matte color. black one the all white one kind of looks nice too it makes it look different blue blue looks nice uh, let's see we can go with shafter shafter purple kind of makes it look all pink if anything that kind of makes it like makes it look like super pink um, then we have yellow we have lime green. We have forest green. Okay. Dark earth. Um, hmm. I think I want to go with black. Just because that, that makes it look real nice. It's either black or blue. Blue looks pretty cool. I like the way that looks. Let's go ahead. No, let's go with blue. I'm going to I'm going to choose blue. I can either choose blue or dark blue. Dark blue looks good too. Midnight blue doesn't look bad. Uh let's see. What should we go with? I think we'll go with um Yeah, I think I'm going to go with uh midnight blue. Midnight blue looks nice. So let's go with that. And then go to metallic and then go all the way down passing 50 you don't have to choose anything here in metallic you just have to go to it and then you go down to 50 and then we're gonna go ahead and change the plate to Oz control okay and then we go back to respray back to primary color and then now we can change the pearlescent <clears throat> excuse me now we can change the pearlescent on top of the matte color so let's see what i want to go with um let's see um bright purple doesn't look bad um let's see i kind of want to choose there's lime green there for you um let's see kind of want to go with ultra blue that way we can have like blue and pink together. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. It's either that or pink, but we already have a lot of pink going on on the vehicle. So yeah, I'm going to go with uh I'm going to go with ultra blue 
for the pearlescent on top of the matte livery color. All right, so let's do that. Ultra blue. And then secondary color, we're going to change this to matte also. And we're going to choose... Let's see. Uh, we would have to go with midnight blue, right? Because that that was the other other color that we chose on top of the livery. So yeah, midnight blue. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with midnight blue, because that looks nice. Kind of matches the rest of the vehicle. Um, <clears throat> or we can also go with like regular blue because that doesn't look bad either um, we can also go with black and then it has that like pearlescent midnight blue on it so hmm. yeah I think I want to go with black just for no no apparent reason so we're gonna go with black and then it still has the pearlescent on top. So yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, that looks nice, man, that vehicle. Man, this vehicle is, oh, it's looking beautiful, man. All right. So here we go. This is, like I said before, this is the Debussy Spectre Custom and this is a sports vehicle So yeah, this vehicle You know as I showed you in the video you can take this vehicle to uh, You could either take it to Los Santos customs or you can also take it to Benny's auto shop So yeah, this is another vehicle that we can add to the list that can be taken to Benny's auto shop. So that's pretty nice for the fact that, you know, now we have another vehicle that we can take to Benny's. And and this is the way that it looks when it's all, you know, Benny's custom, which is pretty nice. I mean, I like the fenders. I like the fact that you can either choose the bolted down fenders or you can also choose uh, the smooth fenders and actually the the ones that I have on right now are carbon you know they're smooth carbon fenders so that looks pretty nice man to be honest that looks pretty awesome oh I wanted to jump off right there let's go back I was trying to jump off real quick. Oh, there goes a horn. I like that horn for the fact that you can, you know, you can press it or you can also like hold on to it, which is pretty nice. Yeah, man. That's beautiful right there. Check that out. That's a nice vehicle. Doing a little jump right there real quick. This is beautiful. Oh, I just knocked that guy out. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That was an accident. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, this is a nice vehicle right here. Like, once you fully upgrade it... I was thinking I was going to like this vehicle, too. And I do. It's pretty nice, man. And like I said, this is the vehicle that's on the podium right now. This vehicle just came out yesterday. If you want to go ahead and get yours today, uh, go ahead and jump on and try to win it on the podium. You know? Oh, man. This is it's beautiful. Look at that, man. And the way that it jumps over stuff just so easily. That's beautiful. I like that. Woo! 
It looks pretty good, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And for the fact that, you know, it's fast. You know, once you get it on the street. I'm guessing this is another Los Santos Tuners DLC update vehicle. Alright. So yeah, once you get it on the street, this vehicle is pretty fast. Uh, for it being, you know, a sports vehicle. Whoa. I kind of want to go knock that guy off his motorcycle real quick. Whoa. Get off that motorcycle, boy. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, you got to see this vehicle. Uh, Debussy, like I said, again, this is the Debussy Spectre. And this is uh, a custom vehicle. This is a vehicle that you could take to Benny's Auto Shop. So you can uh, get it customized and fixed. Uh, with the upgrades that Benny's has for you uh, whoa for the upgrades that Benny's has Benny's has to offer you and this vehicle is sick bro and then I like the when you stop and the the flame If you're new to my channel this has been Oz the controller here with another video on Grand Theft Auto 5 online I hope you I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching everyone hopefully I'll be able to make another video uh, probably tomorrow if anything I wanted to make another video like right after this but I'm getting kind of hungry at the moment uh, so I might just go get something to eat uh, and might continue tomorrow hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to make another video on the Los Santos tuners DLC update and we'll we'll be able to do that last uh, contract that we have so yeah that's pretty much it this is Oz the controller and I'm out thanks for watching everyone have a good night.